We're going to be looking at some high cash flow opportunities, and I'm going to show you how you can buy those from anywhere in the world. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'm the guy that hosts this show. I'm the guy you work with one-on-one -on -one if you reach out to our team and ask for us to help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios. If you want to do that, just send an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Put your phone number in the email, folks, and we'll give you a call back and we'll talk to you about working together. A lot of people, they like to send us emails, but they don't like to give us their, their contact information, things of that nature. So make sure you do that. Now, man who's already done that, my dude Jeff. Jeff's an investor living in Georgia. Jeff, we've uh, done three videos already. Here we are hitting it again for the fourth video, trying to get you some more properties, brother. You got 100 k in cash to work with, and what you've really stressed to me is you want to hit those high cash flow type properties. What that means, folks, is we're going to be going into those, you know, lower income type neighborhoods, those CD neighborhoods, right? That's where I've made the bulk of my money, folks, okay? CD neighborhoods, that's where your boy, Jay Wise, has just, you know, you drive down these neighborhoods, man. The Holton Wise signs, okay? They're on all the damn properties, basically, all right? This is our sweet spot, our bread and butter, okay? 3501 West 60th, Cleveland 44102. Just recently dropped in price, right? It's been on the market a little while, got a little stale. So the listing agent, they went and dropped that thing down to 66,009. $199, and I think it's a damn good price where it's at right now. We have two units. One is renting for $495. The other is renting for seven and a quarter. Now, that's $1220 a month. Is that $495 unit a little lower than it should? Yes, but I'm just going to calculate the numbers based upon what it's currently bringing because... It's bringing enough cash for right now to make the move now. Going forward, yeah, you could probably squeeze that rent up. Maybe get it up to like 550 maybe 600 okay? It's a littler unit, right? But uh, the other one, we're pretty much at market rent. Like, truth be told, Holton Wise, when we rent these out, we rent them for $750. they are at seven and a quarter, right? Same thing. And we got uh, a lot of the big ticket items taken care of, right? So when you say things like, you know, the bones are good, this is a particular property where the bones uh, are exactly where we want them to be. So let's check that out, right? Let's see what the listing agent said. Listing agent, they're out of a company called Platinum Real Estate, all right? Investors welcome. Both units rented. First floor rented for $725. Has three bedrooms, living room, dining room, and nicely remodeled kitchen. Second floor rented for $495 a month. Has been completely remodeled. New flooring throughout. Updated kitchen and freshly painted large one bedroom with plenty of storage. Second floor is a nice open floor plan. Here's your big ticket stuff, guys. Roof is only eight years old. Roofs, they last about 30 years. It's about a $7,000 roof. It's nice you don't got to worry about that for about 22 years, all right? Down unit, newer furnace. Down unit, newer electrical panel. Two new water tanks. Very well-kept homes. Large yard uh, close to I-71 and 90 grocery store, Metro Hospital, and more. Metro Hospital. It's one of the specific things uh, you talk to me about, Jeff. You'd like the Metro Hospital area, right? You like being near there, okay? Why? Because they're investing a billion dollars into their campus and the surrounding area into low-income housing. So if we're going to be hitting the low-income housing, folks, I'd like to be in an area like this where we see some major dollars being pumped into it, right? You take a low-income area and you throw a fucking billion dollars at it, I mean, you know, I don't see the future, but I don't see how that ain't going to be good, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... 
you know, cruising through the pictures here, right? Just typical, you know, what you see in these lower income apartments, right? I mean, nothing fancy, right? You know, beds on the floor, right? That's common, right? When you're in this, uh, you know, asset class, you're in this type of rental range, you know, that's what you get, right? You get people with the, the beds on the floor. I haven't seen any in this unit, but, you know, a lot of times the night, the night side tables, right? They're just milk cartons. I mean, that's what you get, right? There's that fresh electrical panel she talked about. There's that beautiful hot water tank and furnace she spoke about, right? Looking good there, okay? Ooh, looking good. That's money right there, right? Nice shiny, shiny bad boy there. Got the living room here. Unfortunately, we appear to be missing a TV. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe they were shopping that day. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, we have no indication from these folks that these people are behind in rent, so that's what you get. Here's the backyard. Another shot of the bedroom, bathroom, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, just typical. Uh, there's that shot of that nice newer roof looking good. Just so you know, just want to make sure I clarify this. This is actually, when I said there's the backyard, I was hoping this photo was after it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, there ain't no garage here, all right? And I know a lot of people, they get nervous at first, right, when they're coming to the Cleveland Market and they see there ain't no garage. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it. Now, there are some municipalities in the Cleveland Market where uh, they have point-of-sale systems, right? And if you don't know what point-of-sale is, pause the video. Show notes below. I got a video about point-of-sale. Watch that, okay? Now, Cleveland itself does not have point-of-sale regulations, so nothing to worry about there. They ain't going to make you build a garage, and you're not going to increase the amount of rent you're going to receive from your tenants for having a garage. We have really old housing stock here, right? We got 100-year-old housing stock. So what is really common, okay, is they had a bunch of these like old little lean-to garages built, you know, 100 years ago, right? These things, they get all jacked up. People, we just tear them down, okay? We just tear them down. doesn't make sense to rebuild them. You don't need to drop $20,000 to rebuild a garage, okay? Uh, it, it does not affect it, and it's actually very common not to have garages in Cleveland. It does not affect your rentability, so do not worry about that. That is nothing uh, that is going to hurt your value, okay? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Bada bing, bada boom. This thing's looking good, right? Now, 69999. If you had to pay $69.99, Jeff, I think you should. But I'm going to, of course, try to get you a little discount, right? So we'll try to get it for $65. As far as the numbers, even with our current uh, units, seven and a quarter, four ninety five. dollars Again, we could probably squeeze out, you know, get that seven and a quarter one, you know, seven fifty, dollars maybe eight, maybe even eight and a quarter, right? So maybe a hundred bucks there. And then, you know, between 50 and 100 bucks on the other unit. But let's not even worry about that because you'd have to, of course, do a turnover and, you know, you're spending a few grand. So just assuming these two tenants are pretty solid, we want to keep them around. We don't want to really increase their rents because they're very close to market rents, right? So 1220 comes in. I anticipate spending 633 on average. That includes saving 732 for future repairs and maintenance, 732 for future capex, even though a lot of those big ticket items, roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks are newer. And also 732 for folks not paying their rent, right? Because these are things that happen in low-income neighborhoods, okay? So not even counting that $2,100 as profit, I anticipate this bringing pure profit to you of about $7,000 a year. That is a 10.8 cap. If we finance the bad boy, you only need 16 Gs to get into the deal. And it's a 28.2% cash on cash return. Even better than where you wanted to be. You told me, hey, man, find me something in the lower income uh, neighborhoods. I want to be close to Metro if I'm in D grade and I want to be around a 20% estimated cash on cash return, right? So we've delivered all of that and more. Got you 28.2. So, Jeff, if you want to make an offer on this property, just reply to the private email that my team has sent you. We will negotiate on your behalf. Of course, we'll make the offer contingent on a third party home inspection. And then, if any, you know, issues, maybe structural issues or Unknown things come up from there. I will be there for you to try to renegotiate a better deal on your behalf or pull the plug and get you into a different deal. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. If you were just, uh, you know, Googling how to invest in real estate and you came on this video, again, if you want to work with me and my team, 
Send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. This property, it's no longer available. I send these out to you guys privately. Only release them publicly on Holton Wise TV after the dust is settled. But until then, if you're not even ready for that, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you guys can keep getting more of this content because we're all about bringing you guys education, transparency, and deals. That's what we do here at Holton Wise TV. Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.